Hey everyone, I'm Sasha Colby, and this is my 10 minute out of drag girly girl makeup. All right, y'all, you know, I wear a lot of makeup on the show, on stage, so I try to not wear a lot of makeup during the day, but when I have to look good and you have to be presentable for the world, Mother has a little 10 minute routine for you, all right? So obviously I don't have eyebrows. Um, it's a lot easier to do drag makeup when you don't have eyebrows, but what does one do during the day <laughs> to not look like Voldemort? Well, I got my temporary tattoo brows. I love these things. These are incredible. All right, well, what I like to do with these, I love to cut them exactly where there's not a lot of white showing so you can really line up the arches of your brows. All my makeup and all my beauty uh, knowledge comes from my best friend, Preston Manessas. He's an amazing makeup artist to the stars. And uh, he actually told me, you gotta shave your eyebrows for the show. <laughs> I was pretty reluctant and then he threw a bunch of these in my face and I can't, now I don't want eyebrows at all. I kind of love it. I love that you can change your mood. And I just think some people look good with a no brow, succubus. So what we like to do when we put our brow on, there's a sticky side and a not sticky side. Honestly, I just, I mean, could you? You, you were a kid, you had temporary tattoos, right? Water, water and a little pressure. God, this is the moment of truth every time. <sighs> Come on, let's do another one, right? Isn't this amazing? I have a brow. Second one, super easy and uh, amazing. All right, like that saves about 30 to 40 minutes if you don't have a brow. So now we can go on to skin. I love uh, one size. This is the foundation and it's in medium dark three. Your Hawaiian girl loves to be tan. So I honestly just put it on a big fluffy brush. Not a lot, because this is daytime. We don't need the heavy contour. We don't need all the glitter. Unless you want it. I'm never gonna judge. Uh, and then we're just gonna put a little, say like on like a on the back of your hand. Put very lightly. Like that. Very, very lightly. And we're just gonna stroke it on. This covers my redness. This just evens out the skin. So, you know, TMZ or paparazzi comes by. You don't look crazy, right? Get a little under here. Don't forget your neck and your ears. Girls with white ears and tan face, I see you. That's it. And honestly, I just kind of work in, if you're feeling a little more, like you need a little more coverage that day, add it on. There's no right or wrong, especially even like, for the occasion you have to go. If you're going to a cute dinner, if you're going like where there's candlelight, think about all those things when you put on your makeup. Uh, think of a girl that you wanna be when you go out, right? Like I love candlelit with like a dark red lip if I know I'm gonna drink wine. Like you just get in the mood. So next up, uh, after we get our skin all nice and even out, I love a little liquid blush. So I'm a big uh, old school NARS girly right there. Uh, this is liquid blush in orgasm. I just love it. I just love a little bit of, uh, you know, oh, you put it right on the same brush that you did your foundation with, and that helps kind of blend so it's not so harsh. Uh, and then you just give it to your high points. And look at that. Just a little shine, just a little like life. That way the rosiness in your cheeks makes sense with everything else. Now that we have skin, we're feeling our glar. Now we're just gonna do a little mascara. Usually I love a good uh, fake lash, but we're daytime. And then just a couple of coats. For my eye, it's a little big, so I just like to do right on the outer corners. I noticed for me, I like it to get a little wooped without having to do a major liner moment, because then I'm practically in drag. You know, if I do too much of makeup, then I'm just might as well get in drag. <laughs> and we're not going to a brunch show. We're gonna do like one more coat. I'm feeling extra lashy today. I was that girl that was like the rock and roll girl when I first transitioned. So it was like Tammy Faye eyes the whole way. Like just 
black liner, and a leather jacket. And you can tell me anything. All I just need is a good lip, because this looks a little washed out. My favorite nude lip for my skin tone is Juvia's Place. And it's in the shade Me. It's a great nude. It's, it's just, I don't know what it is that it does well with my skin tone. It, it just gives me a little life where life hasn't blessed us yet. <laughs> and if you are a glossy girl, then always put a little gloss. I love Anastasia in glass. Just a little right there. Yeah, a little life. And what we want to do right at the end is we take a little little brush like this. This is my favorite brush for right in the T-zone. And I take a little pressed powder. I love Makeup Forever, uh, the matte velvet skin. And this is in, the name, is, the, the numbers are crazy, Y375. And I just do a little under my eye in my T-zone, just so not everything is wet. Uh, there's a fine line between dewy and sweaty looking. Also get something that brightens you up just a little. And last but not least, let's hit it with a little face mist. Do whatever face mist you like. I personally love, I just got this too and I've been raving about it. Uh, Miss Thing by R.E.M. Ariana, love you and I love it's just a great little calming mist, especially when you have a long day in the city, running around. A little lavender brings you centered. Well, y'all, that's my get ready with me. And I think we're ready to conquer the world. Thanks everyone for watching your favorite drag queens, favorite drag queens, 10 minute beauty routine.